is Sam Felton and welcome to Full Fat Food on Smash the Fat Live. Uh, today we're going to be making natural chocolate bars for all of you chocolate bar lovers out there. Uh, so I've got here 80 grams of cashew flour, just simply get a load of cashews and blend it up either with your hand blender or um, a food processor. Uh, then 80 grams of dates, 30 grams of raisins and then finally 10 grams of 100% cocoa powder. Make sure it's the 100% stuff and not the sweetened stuff. Um, so we're starting off with the uh, 80 grams of cashew flour. Now ideally you'd have better bowls than this to put it in. But don't worry too much, a little bit of a mess in the kitchen doesn't go awry. Then secondly, 10 grams of cocoa powder, shuffle that up just a little bit. That's good. And with a hand, if you are doing it with a hand blender, um, put in the hand blender first and then the raisins, like so. And then finally, the dates. Because it's important with the hand blender that you cover it all up, because otherwise it does go flying all over the place. If you do have a food processor, that would be ideal. Um, so, just starting off, just bring that here, and then again, make sure that you cover up the, um, the top, like so. And then you need to blend it, like there's no tomorrow. all we need to do in terms of all the blending and mixing and um, so let me just get this out obviously if you do have a hand blender make sure that you take it off of the blender because you don't want to blend your hands off and then you can just take out all the bits and bobs from that because it is so dry it's pretty much clean the hand blender so not too much um, washing up uh, and then you just get back a bowl or um, plate or anything like that. Best thing to do is get your hands in there. If you want to spoon it out, spoon it out. But I'm, I'm a man of action. I need to use my hands. Um, so, as we can see here, the uh, chocolate bar mix is pretty much there. So all we need to do now is that we just need to squish it all together just a little bit more just to mix it up. Make sure that it's all there, like so, oh, there we go, look at that. So if you really wanted to, you could just have a massive chocolate ball, but the best thing to do is to now break bits off of that, like so, and then you can make these sort of chocolate sausages, almost. Voila. There you go, and then you got a nice little chocolate bar there, um, and yeah, you can wrap that up in tin foil, cling film, put it in some Tupperware, anything like that, um, and just to make more of these, all you need to do is obviously multiply the uh, the ingredients like so, and then otherwise you got a nice bit of chocolate. So main thing now is to taste it, see what it tastes like. That is awesome. Really, really good. Um, if you do make these, make sure that you let me know. You can either tweet me at Sam Felsen or chuck a comment below um, in the Facebook comments if you're on the website or in the YouTube comments if you are on YouTube. It's still sticking on my mouth. It's really nice. Um, so, yeah, highly recommend these, these natural chocolate bars. A lot, lot better than your average sugary chocolate bar. Um, so yeah, let me know how you got on and then until next time, be well and smash it out.